It's Brian Preston, the money guy. Uh, this next question is from uh, Robbie. Robbie says, uh, if my employer offers a Roth 401k option, uh, should I even consider a backdoor Roth? Now, when he says backdoor Roth, he's talking about funding a traditional IRA and then converting the traditional assets to Roth assets. And if so, does a backdoor Roth make sense if my spouse has an IRA? So I think he's really asking two questions right here. Uh, one, are there times when I should do a Roth 401k versus a Roth IRA or backdoor Roth IRA? And then two, uh, are there things I need to think about with my spouse's assets, like if she has other types of, of accounts? The first thing that I notice when I kind of think through Robbie's question is if he's having to do a backdoor Roth, hmm. that immediately suggests that his income is too high to be able to do a direct Roth contribution. And yep. he said he's married. So, you know, this is a household that's making about over $200,000 of annual income. Uh, my argument there would be, you know, it, it, depending on what state you live in, but even just federally, you're in a tax bracket where, man, that current year pre-tax deduction is pretty stinking valuable. And if you look at how much you contribute, whether it's 19.5 if you max out or 26,000 if you max out, and you calculate your tax savings from doing that pre-tax, there's a chance that these tax savings from you doing pre-tax 401k contributions might be great enough for you to fund the backdoor Roth, that's right? Exactly they might right. actually give you a mechanism where you could do that. That's the first thing that kind of stuck out to me immediately. Yeah, and then I'll add in and the fact that I think it is interesting when you talk about married couples is that, you you know, fortunately, the government looks at each of you as individual IRA contributors. Mm -hmm. Even though you're filing a joint tax return, in a lot of cases, majority of cases, you're filing a joint tax return, you're going, the government's going to treat you as individual IRA holders. So you're right. You, you do need to always be aware because a backdoor or Roth conversion strategy is going to require that you don't have IRA rollovers, SEP IRAs, simple IRAs sitting out there because if you do, you, any type of contribution you make to those, you're going to have to prorate right. your total IRA balance, and it really screws up being able to do that Roth conversion strategy. So that's the first thing is like, do you have other IRA assets? Well, now a lot of you guys are like, I don't have any, but my spouse does. So I, you know, so that probably screws this whole thing up. No, your spouse probably can't do Roth conversions, but you, because they have an IRA sitting over here, but you actually can, you know, because the IRS lets you look at yourself, not your spouse. They're separate. That's why if you look at on your tax return, when you make IRA contributions, there's a form 8606 that's going to show your contributions, your basis. And they're going to, you're going to have two of those. You know, mm -hmm. if, you, if you're a married couple, you're going to look in there and be like 8606, 8606. 8606. You're like, oh, one's for me, one's for my spouse. That's why they, they keep everything separated because these are essentially retirement trusts. That's, That's right. what an IRA kind of is for you. So you, you need to look at, do I have IRA assets? And then if you don't, you can consider this. But I think Bo is spot on. If you're in, if you're in a high income tax situation, I love the thought of you getting the current year tax deduction because hopefully the goal is when you retire, you're in a lower tax rate situation because you're going to manipulate legally your taxes by all the different buckets of income, of the assets that you have, whether you have after-tax brokerage accounts, tax deferred, which is going to be your matching funds as well as your pre-tax yep. contributions. And then you're going to have also your tax-free or Roth assets. If you structure this if you structure this right, you'll have the ability to potentially lower your taxes in retirement, do Roth conversions. So you're going to, I, I like the thought of you taking the tax deduction now, funding the Roth mm -hmm. with, you know, with that $6,000, seven if you're over, if you're 50 or older, that's a win-win. It's a win-win. It's not an either or, it's a both and. That's a great question.